it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I hear all the noise and when I go back and I look I see you know a truck a few more blocks down going down the bike path and for some reason I went that way and when I went that way I seen a couple of bodies laying right there in the bike path and and when I was looking you know seeing if there's anybody else I heard gunshots and there was about nine or ten gunshots going off. The guy fired a couple shots before, and then there's like a shootout between like the police and the guy. There we heard the shots, and then we went to the window, and we seen two of the bodies lying down. First we seen one because it was in the bike lane, and then the second body was next to the tree. And then, um, so we seen a bunch of police and ambulance people, like they were running. You know, you usually never see something like this happening around here, especially around here. So like we just looked outside the window and they were just laying there like dead. The driver, he didn't look like he was bleeding or anything per se, but um, he did have a noticeable limp as he was getting out of his car. He did look like he was dragging his foot a little bit and he was screaming and he was screaming in the street. He looked frustrated, panicked, confused. When I walked up to it, the first thing I saw was a man laying on the ground face down in the middle of the street. He was surrounded by police officers. It, it appeared that he was injured, and right next to him was a man who was being arrested. He wasn't putting up a fight. He was on his knees, hands behind his head. I just, I can't believe it. Like, this is, like, I walk down this road all the time, and it's, it's usually just for fun and a nice breeze, and this is not what it's meant to be. This is a travesty. It, it was, uh... Horrifying. Yeah, yeah, horrifying.